Hi everyone, my name is Jin Man and this is Nisa Prasanna. And today we're basically going to be doing APT podcast number one. And we're going to be talking about life after quarantine. It's kind of a follow up to the previous APT podcast, which were life during quarantine. And today we're going to be talking about things like basically the transitioning and advice that we can probably offer, offer to you. And um, we're really glad uh, to have this opportunity to, to talk to you guys about relatable things and um, really just talk about things that haven't really been mentioned before. So just to start us off, Anissa, how is your mental health during quarantine? So, I mean, okay, well, since we were seventh graders when quarantine first struck, and then now we're back in ninth, ninth grade, I feel like during quarantine itself, I was kind of, at first I was very happy because I was like, it's a break from school, you know, and I was like, oh yeah, classes are going to be much easier now, and I don't have to worry about going to school um, and putting as much effort in, but eventually I started feeling like I wasn't really doing anything with my life because I was mostly in my room, you know, just doing a few classes per day, and uh, yeah, basically I just felt very, like my life was very lacking at that time, but I was lucky because I was able to hang out with my friends a lot, so it was nice to have that sort of communication where a lot of people didn't, but it was pretty boring overall, I'd say. How about you? Uh, mine was the exact same. I feel like my mental health was impacted because when, when we went online, um, I did feel like really isolated from everyone. I, the only way I, I could communicate with my friends and people that care about or that I care about was through a screen. And that really affected how I function now around people. And um, I feel like I felt like I could put on this facade and I turned and my personality completely changed during quarantine. Um, and now coming back, it's like kind of stressful and I'm much more anxious than I would have been before just because I've been deprived of human interaction. But I was able to hang out with my friends, which I guess isn't that bad. But seeing new faces and the, not just the same four people's faces is kind of very different and stressing at times. Yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like even though we had ways to interact with our friends online, it wasn't the same. And just like readjusting to this quarantine lifestyle where we didn't really see real people, it definitely like kind of resets your mind. And it's a lot harder coming back because I definitely feel like when you say that it's harder to interact with new people because it's like now it's so hard to engage in like small talk and just, you know, put on that kind of facade, you know? Uh, so it's very hard to interact with new people who are like just your friends and communication is tough, you know? It's, it's hard to get things across because you're used to just like typing something out online. So it's definitely hard. Uh, things can arise out of the quarantine, like you said, uh, anxiety for sure. A lot of people struggle, struggle with things like depression during quarantine. And yeah, it really can impact your mental health when your brain is kind of hit with like two different transitions so quickly and you're forced to adjust. It was very hard time for all of us. Yeah, definitely. Another thing that did impact mental health was academic life. Yeah, for sure. I feel like academics, uh, they changed a lot obviously because all the classes were online. Not only us, but our teachers had to adjust and yeah, it was a very big jump. How was that for you? Um, it was pretty stressful for me because um, I went from just going, actually in the beginning it was kind of easy because I went from going like seven hours a day at school to just four hours online and that's five days a week. So I could literally just finish all my stuff within an hour or two, eat lunch, and then I could just go play games with my friends for the rest of the day and then just repeat that. And I kind of felt uh, almost relieved that academics was coming so easily to me, but that's also because I had so many resources online to help me out. Like, I don't think eighth graders or many people were taught the concept of integrity first before they went into um, online school. So they had a lot of uh, resources available to them, like, oh, they could just be taking like a pop quiz and all of a sudden you, you don't know a question and you could just Google it and get the right answer. It was really easy to cheat and I feel like a lot of people did that. Um, I also do feel like during um, the quarantine school year, when you came back, it was completely different because you're going from like four hours a day all, this, uh, all, the, all of a sudden to seven. And then you also have all of these new uh, resources that aren't available to you throughout the normal school day. So you're having to adjust and that too, you're gonna have to um, 
save some time for extracurriculars because those are starting back up now that restrictions are being lifted. And then you're also having all of these um, new assignments coming at you and school is just starting to go back to normal and it's a really rough transition. Yeah, you're definitely right. I feel like that we, until quarantine, for basically our whole life, you're going through the schedule, you know, wake up early in the morning, go to school, come back, uh, hang out with your friends, do homework. And that sort of schedule was in like changed immediately the moment online school came. It was very unprecedented. So I feel like all of us adjusted to it in different ways. For me personally, uh, I struggled a lot the moment we went online because um, I mean, like there were like resources available, which kind of made it easier, but I didn't feel like I was being true to myself because like academic suddenly was harder because it was harder to focus. It was harder to really absorb the information online for some reason, because, you know, being at home, you can just like fidget around with stuff that you have, um, maybe on your desk. So it was a little hard to focus, to be honest, at first. But later on, um, I became more comfortable with it, but I still feel like it wasn't right because it didn't feel like a normal school setting. And, you know, like that transition, it's, it's hard for some people and, and very easy for others. Um, so yeah, that's how it was for me. And I think coming back now, it's like you're back to this normal school setting where like there's time tests, there's you have to stay in class for like periods of time. You know, if you if you get caught slacking, it's like you know, that's not going to be a good thing for you. So you're you've kind of been hurtled into one like awkward position where you're online, and then back into one that you're not used to. So academics, um, it can definitely take a it can these things can take a toll on your grade. They definitely did for me at first. I'm readjusting now, but it's tough for sure. Oh yeah, I just wanna say kudos to all those people that it was easy to adjust to because it's not very easy for a lot of people that I know and I might be biased because all of, uh, a lot of my friends aren't able to adjust very easily, but um, I don't know many people that were able to adjust easily. But if you were one of those people, good job because it's, it's a struggle. Yeah, for sure. And those of you who are struggling currently, honestly hang in there. Like, it's gonna take a while to adjust and uh, know that you're you're going through this with a lot of other people. So, and uh, we'll talk about like advice for this later on, but keep up the good work, honestly. Yeah. All right, so speaking of socializing, let's go socialize. Off to the grinder. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jin. What's your name? Hi, I'm Joshua. Okay, um, one quick question for you. So, what, what was it like socializing with your friends over quarantine, and how did you talk to them? I actually didn't socialize, I just stayed in my bed the whole time. How did you talk to them? I just didn't. You didn't? Okay. Do you have any friends? Actually, only friends at church, not friends at school. I just no. met them every week. Oh, that works. Okay, one other question for you. If a bald man was working in a cafeteria, would he have to wear a hairnet? No, because his hair is basically a hairnet. His hair? Oh. Because no he has no hair. Oh, okay, that works. That works. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jin. I'm Nita. I am Brittany. Okay, would you mind if we asked you a few questions? Uh, no. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, what were your grades like during quarantine? Uh, bad. <laughs> What what held you down the most? I think um just like adapting to online. Oh uh, yeah, I I I one hundred percent agree. Okay, well we have other questions for you. So if a person was bald and they were to work at like a restaurant, would they would they have to wear a hairnet? Um no. <laughs> just my reaction. Why? Well because they have no hair. Maybe like they should get. interesting it sure was well now we can talk more about social life uh, so I feel like a lot of us had different ways of communicating some of us uh, like the two of us were actually able to meet up in person because we were literally neighbors and with our, some of our other friends as well so we had that privilege but a lot of people were could like they were, they were restricted to talking to their friends online uh, we also used like discord and stuff like that but a lot of people had only that and 
I mean, that can result naturally in some people drifting, like, say you don't have connect, like, um, their contact or anything like that. You might drift away from them. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit uh, more later. But people have different ways of communicating, and that comes with its own problems. Yeah, I 100% agree. With social life, there are a lot of issues because, like I mentioned earlier, you, you, your personality has changed. You can put on this big facade, and it's like kind of different because, like, your camera's off. Um, you don't need to really say what you really want to say because, well, you're behind a screen. Nothing really matters. And then when you come back into like socializing with people in person, um, I don't know about you, Nita, but uh, I cannot sit and make small talk with the people that I used to be able to make it with and I can only make it with like a certain people and I can only properly socialize with people that I'm very close to from the start. With others, I feel like it's already awkward and um, I feel like that's what a lot of people think and people have just become very like antisocial thanks to quarantine. Yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like because of our means of communication, it definitely like things like your thoughts and your feelings don't translate that well unless you're very good at like wording things, but generally speaking, it's tough to get what you're trying to say across the person on the other side of the screen. And coming back, it's very hard to get back to like confronting people and you know, like actually talking to them face to face. Um, so yeah. Yeah, it's become a big issue in my opinion, because um, I would be able to uh, socialize with certain people a different way if quarantine didn't exist. And I also feel like um, many people aren't able to socialize with me anymore because of that. And like the only reason I'm still like half sane is because I was able to hang out with my friends a lot. And we had our own bubble, so like we would all like socialize with one another. Um, sometimes our friends that lived in different areas would come over, and then we would um, just have, keep it at that bubble. And then if anyone went outside, we would quarantine. But I was able to like work around it. But I feel like others might not have been able to because you can't go out for dinner um, to nice restaurants because they're closed thanks to the restrictions. You can't go to all these theme parks. I know Disneyland was closed for quite a while. Um, and all these different places that you can go to socialize have all these restrictions so it's really hard to find a spot to meet up that's like not too boring or like basic like the park or something but yeah I do feel really sorry for all those people who were able to hang out with their friends yeah speaking of which like it's so important to be uh, grateful for what you have like there are so many setbacks and struggles that I'm sure good things did come out of it like for everyone it was different but for me personally, it was getting closer to like my friends, such as Jim, um, and really just like I was able to like make stronger relationships. For some people, those relationships did diminish, and honestly, that's okay because like it's all about growing and looking forward. But if there's any silver lining that you can find, just look for it and think back uh, on the quarantine as a learning experience. And there are solutions to these things, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about like some tips and advice that we can give you. So we can like start with grades maybe. I feel like there's so much like, for me personally, I lost my studying habits and like my grades like did reflect that. But coming back now, um, I got some tips from APT actually. They, we did a presentation on study skills and stuff and I learned a lot more about like, no, like taking effective notes. And um, you can actually like DM one of us if you like have questions on that, like we can, give you ways to like take notes and like a bunch of study tips and stuff but um managing my time i have learned a lot more things than like i've lost because of the quarantine so i'm like slowly coming back from it and it's the main thing that you have to do with like in terms of grades now is really manage your time because like we're all on a tight schedule right because we wake up early in the morning we go to school we come back home like for some of us five because we came to practice so you have to like, maybe like make a schedule, write things down and stay on top of things. Like if you, if you slack off one day, it's very easy to fall behind. So stay on top of things and like use resources. Kitty Hawk is there, um, talk to people around you. Yeah. Yeah, I 100% agree with whatever Nita said. Um, speaking of social life, if you want like advice with that, I suggest not isolating yourself. Sometimes uh, with quarantine, I feel like a lot of us have different boundaries now different comfort zones now that it's come to social life because we weren't able to socialize as 
socialize as much anymore. So uh, just try to step out of your comfort zone. Instead of waiting for people to come to you, maybe go talk to someone else if you need to. Um, make new friends. Uh, just get back into being able to socialize with other people um, in a very effortless way. Um, get closer to people. You have, you're not able to like be around people, so just like take advantage of it while it lasts. Just in case we go into another quarantine, which I hopefully, hopefully we won't, but in case we do, just um, spend the time that you have with all these friends and all these people around you wisely. Um, try to hang out with safety precautions as much as you can. Yeah, for sure. That's such an important thing. You need to surround yourself with people that you can trust. Um, if you can't talk to like maybe friends, uh, talk to like trusted adults. You know, it's very important to express your feelings if you just keep things cooped up inside, which all of us have a lot of feelings and things that we need to get out and things that we're struggling with because of the quarantine or otherwise. So talk to people around you and honestly don't keep things inside because basically we're saying that all of you should do good what's best for yourself and stay sane, hang in there, you're doing really good. Yeah. Go Queens, we only have like half of a semester left and then we have summer break. Yeah, like honestly, like the, this whole thing is so unexpected that all of us are like, we're doing really great. There's no like defined way of, you know, excelling during the quarantine or afterwards because this is like really crazy, honestly. So everyone's doing really a really good job. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think that wraps it up. Yep. Thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. Old man was working in a cafeteria. What do you have to wear a hairnet? Yo, no, that was um. Script. <laughs> hey, yes, I've told me that. Uh, Yay! Question: Would you rather choose love or money? Money. Why? I chase the bag expeditiously. Why? Money is cool. Why? It's green. Why? It buys me stuff. Why? Because money will not break my heart. Wait, question. Can you define expeditiously? Expeditiously means to chase the bag.